on the real. On Girl Chat, Jeannie opens up. I felt my uterus wiggle. <gasps> you did? Then the real is full of twists and turns as we put your braids to work for summer. And who will win our mega gab bag? That is the bag right now. It's time to say au revoir to the bag. No, I, I can't. Because, no. Plus, we welcome TV's newest hosts, the preachers. Sometimes people think church is medicine, but you can have a little sugar with the medicine. Come on, All right. The real. because I can feel it in yes. the air. What yes. do you feel, Sarah? Now, is everybody ready for some <laughs> joy? Yes. 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 yes! And you know we got the juice here for you. <laughs> well, before we get into it, Tam Tam, my yes, girl over here, Honey Bunches of Oats, the May issue of Vanity Fair is on newsstands right now. Oh, my now. God, amazing. And guess what, everybody? It's the sister's <laughs> issue, and... My girl, Tam and her sister, oh, 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 oh. Teacher, Look at the photos, it's so good, yeah! Oh, now, Thank you. Now, because this is, you know, one of my fashion Bibles, yes, I have to ask you, Tam Tam, what was it like shooting for the Vanity oh, Fair. You guys, it was such an honor. I'm Krista sure. Smith, thank you so much for thinking yes. of my sister and I. She's the editor of Vanity Fair. And come on, Sophia Webster Boots, honey. We wanted to do something different. We wanted to be, you know, a little, a little sexy. Yes. And I wanted to make you guys proud. Remember how oh nervous I was in the beginning? Yes. Guys, yeah. she brought the phone into the room and was like, I want you to see something. <laughs> She's like, did we do okay? I'm like, girl, you look so sexy, so hard, but it's so new. I love that it's a black sleek turtleneck yes. Yes. with yes. those hot, sexy boots. Yeah. Like Sophia, Sophia Webster thigh high boots. They ain't yeah. out yet. You know I was scalping those. Yes, <laughs> I loved it. But most importantly, you guys, I loved that I was able to do that with my twin yeah. sister. Yeah. We hadn't done anything together in a while, yeah. and it's just magical when we get together. Yeah. And you I'm, can so tell. You can, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for her. I really am. But you look beautiful. How Thank long you, did it take? Was it a long photo you shoot? You guys, it was a really quick shoot. All we did was just dance. They put on some oh. Fetty Wap. Oh. You danced with Fetty Wap? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Yes. And no we, way. Just, we just danced and had, and had like a, a wind machine. Well, and that you, was did it. Did you twerk and stuff? I don't know how to twerk, you Tay Tay. Do, I but I danced, <laughs> I danced in the Tamara style, and you can, okay. you can see yes, it right there. Yeah, with yeah. the one hand up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. it was a lot of fun. You guys are such a symbol of unity. Yeah. Oh, I'm so thank proud you. of you guys. Thank you so that is awesome. much. Yeah. Thank you. And after yeah. all these years, yeah. you're just as great now as you were then. You yes. stayed the same person, and I think that that's such a great uh, message, especially for young people that want to get into the business yes. to see what you guys have created and what you've built for yourselves. Thank you. I owe it all to God and our parents. Come on, that's right. We have amazing parents. So yes. thank you, Mom and Dad. And I also have to give a shout out to the cover girl, my friend, yes. Amy Schumer. Yes. She yes. looks so hot on the yes, cover. She does. Amazing. Amazing. Good yes. job, Amy. Oh, <laughs> Jessica oh, Rabbit. Beautiful. Okay, yes. now. Jeannie, yes. I know you have had something in your heart that you've wanted to share with us today. Yes. What is going on? Okay. So I feel like we're all family here. Yes. yes. Everybody else, we're family. Viewers are family. So don't get that excited. It's just a little <laughs> thing. But 
I've, I've always heard for women that as you get older, there's something in you that turns at some moment when you decide to have kids, yes. right? Yes. Well, mid-20s, I never felt it. 30s, cold as hell, there's <laughs> nothing in here, still partying, having fun. Mid-30s, now late 30s, just the beginning of this year, I, after maybe being around kids, watching little Logie run to Tay and, 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 and just see him as the, or see her as the only person in the room, I felt my uterus wiggle. <gasps> you did? No! Yeah. It's, it's actually a little spiritual. Wait a minute, yeah. you pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. But you guys have known, like, I'm really, no, I'm not pregnant. I wasn't ready. I'm not pregnant, Ooh, we no, I'm not pregnant. wasn't ready, was you ready? Okay. I so wasn't all ready. all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I, and after talking <laughs> with you, Tay, and, and just talking to other women, I'm 37, mm -hmm. I know I'm not getting any younger. Mm -hmm. I know if I was gonna have a kid, I should decide now, mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. five minutes ago. No. So I've decided I'm going to start thinking about freezing my eggs. Well, oh you should. God. I just wanna think about that. So wow. that's why I think for me, I just want to start opening up the discussion. I want to be able to come by. I want you to let me, with chaperone uh, permission, babysit Araya, yes. have biscuits with Logie, talk to other women to understand <laughs> what does it mean. Because I just, she has some she has a I want to know what it, it feels like to go okay, through that. Okay, so listen, I went through IVF, and I'll yeah. definitely hold your hand while you go through this process because, you know, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what's happening with your body. And there are some changes that's going to happen with your body, but you just have to know they're not permanent changes, okay? Wow. And these are changes that is going to prepare you to carry your baby. Are you really ready to have children? And is this something you really want? That's or is it awesome. because everybody else is doing it, you feel like you should? Because I do feel like, yes. is something wrong? Am I missing no, something? No, you're not. I felt the same way. I wanted to kick it forever. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. Kids are the biggest blessing. They know, I see it that. is something that you know is a gift from God himself. And that's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just being honest. Don't miss out on your blessing, girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, speaking of women's issues, Hillary Clinton has turned the tables on Donald Trump after he called her out for playing, get this, guys, the woman card. Hillary originally replied to Trump's comment saying, if fighting for women's health care, paid family leave, and equal pay is playing the woman card, then deal me in. Wow. Well, now... Her supporters can have the opportunity to, to play their own woman card by becoming a donor to her campaign. Yes. That's right, guys. She'll actually send you a physical woman card. Ma'am. Oh, my God. So, A, what do you think about this woman card? Would you get your own woman card? I actually love the fact that she's turning a negative into a positive. Yeah. That, you know, you try to tear people down by saying, oh, well, she's a woman. And instead of her feeling like that should bring her down, she's like, I absolutely am a woman. I will, I will absolutely defend women's rights. Mm -hmm. And if that makes me whatever he was trying to say, then I'm even going to hand out a woman card. I think that's dope. And I absolutely would get a woman's card because I love women. We are all about women empowerment. <laughs> Forehead. You could write right here, woman card. So yeah. I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> exactly women. what is he trying to say. Like, Corny. is he saying because she's a woman, she can't speak about being a powerful woman? He's yeah. women, he knows she's that's just a trying heavy... to find excuses. Yeah, it's, he knows it's a heavy tactic. And first of all, it's been, what, 44, 45 other presidents that's been male? Oh. Ain't nothing wrong with her saying that she's a woman and she's that running is true. for president. She is. It's yeah. a story. So it's stating the obvious. That's it. It's stating the obvious. It's stating the facts. And naturally, I think that it is dope that she is absolutely defending women, obviously equal pay, things right. like that, those rights. I think that's amazing. And I, I don't think that's playing the woman card. I think she's just doing the right, right thing. thing. The, right the thing is, too, I don't think women will vote for her because she's a woman. Yes. No. We smarter than men, okay? I don't care what nobody <laughs> says. We are smarter than men. We just not gonna vote for a woman because she a woman. Exactly. We're gonna vote because we feel that she's qualified. Yeah. And, and it also shocks me, too, because at the end of the day, Donald Trump, you came from a woman. Oh, like, Reed, you better oh, read it. Oh, oh. How could you bite the hand you, that feeds you? You read your eggs today, because yeah. that was a, the best comment. Come on now. Don't forget Come that. On. Don't forget that, Donald. Come on. Now, Tamara, you were yes, back honey. at the White House over the yes. weekend. Yes. Yes. So much you fun. You looked stunning. Yes. Thank you, guys. You so did look you. really good. Thank I mean, you. she was there for uh, President Obama's final White House Correspondence Dinner, yes. a.k.a. the Nerd Prom. <laughs> Look at Adam. <laughs> oh, that's the photo. So, you know, Tamara, you witnessed firsthand when Obama 
literally yes, dropped drop the, the mic. mic. Yeah, you you guys mic. haven't seen it, take a look at the tape. And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. What a boss! Oh, that is the boss. I love him. Tamara. I love him. How was it? Tell me about the dinner. Tell me everything. <gasps> I'm still on cloud nine. Yeah. First of all, I, I mean, I love Michelle Obama. She's like my best oh. friend in my head. Right. Um, she... She personally invited my husband and I to, to meet Barack. So when I met him, the funniest thing happened. I don't know if I answered him or not because he asked me the same question twice. Oh, God. He was like, how are you? Just like that when I shook his hand. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, how are you? He was waiting on an answer. Yes. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really, really excited to be here. And then Adam came in there. And then when I saw uh, Mrs. Obama, I was just like. And she went, ah! And we talked about my kids because she wanted to meet my kids the, the day before. Yeah. I had a little mommy moment because Aiden, I don't know if he had sugar. I thought my husband maybe gave him like a, oh, a no. chocolate muffin or they something. Oh something my gosh, important. I was, yeah. They Aiden was like work. running around oh, yeah, in circles and she was like, Aiden, 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 Aiden! <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And Boy. Araya. Araya loved her. <gasps> she, uh, um, Michelle held her and Araya was just jumping up and down <gasps> like this. But we took some pictures uh -huh. and you know, you know, she wants to make sure that they're really right. nice. Yes, yes. And I will put them out on my Instagram oh, later. I but cannot wow. wait. I'm so, so, now, so very grateful. what about the grateful. dinner, the yeah, actual what, dinner? You eat? Yeah, what was the food? The dinner? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the whole, the whole program, because I know that President Obama, he killed it. You guys, it. that man has the best comedic timing very, ever. Yes, he does. Really? Yeah. Yes, yes he's he so does. charming, yes. It was very funny. I love, I really, I love a man that is able to make fun of himself. Right. Yes, yeah. In a, in a, you know, in a funny way. It, it showed me that he didn't take himself didn't, too seriously. Yeah, didn't take himself too seriously. Did you with, see um, anybody, um, like any stars? Yes. Uh, totally. Oh my gosh, you guys, Will Smith. He was, he was really, really nice. Oh. So sweet. That's cool. Um, Scott Foley, the entire cast of Scandal was there. Yeah. Oh my God. Carrie Washington um, looks beautiful. Carrie Washington. She's I didn't get pregnant, to see her. Guys. She yeah. is? She's pregnant, Carrie Car Washington. Uh, she yeah. is? Yes. Wait, was that announced? Yes, it's announced. I didn't even know. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I didn't see her she personally. She didn't look pregnant? Half no, I didn't. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see her, but I saw Shonda Rhimes. Yes. Oh, wow. She was awesome. Jada Pickett Smith. Uh, right. She was there. Uh, Scott Foley. Um, I met him years ago, and I was like, "Do you remember me?" And he was like, "No, do you remember me?" <laughs> so it was just, it was, it was, it was it a was really nice, nice time. Who awesome. turned up the most? I think I did. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yes! Turn up! Turn up! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh. Congratulations! I'm so happy that you made it. Oh. 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 In the White House, our whole stomping ground. <laughs> <laughs> A key by now. Can't wait to go back. Me neither. It's no secret that I live for a great handbag. Yes. And right now, there are so many options for spring and summer in tons of fun textures and pops of color that it drives fashionistas like us wild. Yes, uh. So today, one of you ladies, gulp, in our audience will catch the fever with us because you could be walking away with one of this season's IT bags. Okay. Brace yourselves, everybody. It's Gap Bag Time! Oh, 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 okay, I'm so excited about this bag, you guys. I can't stand it anymore. Let's do this. I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, today's Gab Bag. Oh, Jesus. Gab Bag. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. 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 Whoa. Okay. Oh. You may leave. Oh, my God. You may leave. Oh. Okay. 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 Everybody, I need a moment because this is the bag it. that put the envelope shape on the market, yes. guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Celine Medium Luggage Phantom in green and white striped textile. Celine is a must among fashionistas worldwide. Mm -hmm. And this iconic bag right now is so on time with spring to summer wearability. The signature Celine design exudes sophistication, class, and risk-taking. And get ready for this. This French beauty retails for a cool $2,250. Okay, Tay Tay, Tay Tay, Tay Tay, Tay Tay, Tay Tay, 
Tay. Tay, Tay. It's time to say au revoir to the bag. No, I, I can't. Because, no. We can do this. This is Tay Mark. Okay. Tamar. Well, everybody, <laughs> inside this bowl, we have the names <laughs> of everybody in today's studio audience. But only <laughs> one name will be picked as the winner. Oh my God. I wonder who will it be? <laughs> Let me get a drum roll. Oh my goodness, it's Tamar Braxton! <laughs> Shreveport, Louisiana. Louisiana? Oh, no, no, everybody. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hold on, Jill. Hold on. Okay. We are not done just yet. Oh, yeah, right. Now, her bag is green on the outside, but it's only fitting that she puts some green on the inside. Hey. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Jill Smith, we have the perfect thing for you because today's right. game. This mega gab bag. Not only do you get this amazing piece of arm candy, but girl, there are not one, not two, but three wallets inside. Yes. Yes. So you get to select one wallet, and whatever is inside the wallet is yours to make it rain. Okay. So you could walk away with 100, 300. For $500. Come on over here. Now, Jill Smith, I hope that you are mega ready to reach inside this bag, girl, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. and pick okay. one of the wallets, and then you're going to give it to Jeannie. Come so on, whichever one you pick, Come on. you pick give it to Jeannie. Pray about it. Put a little prayer on it. Okay. okay. Lord, let it be the right amount. Okay. Yes, God. Have your okay. way. Okay, you got it? Okay, hand it okay, over. Hand it over. All right, all right. Good luck. Let's see. Girl. No matter what this is, we're always grateful anyway, right? Okay, okay. All right. Here we go. You guys, it is a nice, juicy $100 day! Summer is just around the corner, which means it's time for new summer dues. And hey, if that style can double as a protection to give my real hair underneath a break, I'm all in. Classic braids and twists are great, but today we're sharing the newest trends for a twist. Hey. Here's the notebook. This is Do Get It Twisted. As you can see, I brought in braiding guru, Dr. Carrie Williams, to teach yeah. today's lesson. Yeah. Now, Dr. Carrie has touched the scalps of Brandy, Carrie Hilson, and Jada Pinkett Smith, to name a few. Welcome, Dr. Carrie! Thank you for having me. Dr. Carrie, we all know braids and twists have been around for years, but most recently, crochet braids and twists are taking the world by storm. I'm a big right. fan. I'm wearing them. Can't you see right there? Yes! yes. yes. Okay. Let's jump right in. Okay. The first thing I think of when I hear about crochet is like crocheting like a hat or scarf or something. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you do that with braids or twists? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the same technique. What you do is you take pre-twisted hair or braids and you add it to cornrowed hair using a crochet tool. Now, this is the crochet tool that people normally use, but the metal hook can pull and snag the hair, plus yeah. it's used to crochet hats and scarves. Uh -huh. This is the proper crochet tool that everyone should be using. Okay? Yes. This one right here. Okay. So we're going to get started. Yeah. All right? So you're going to take your crochet tool, you're going to take the looped end of your crochet tool, and you're going to stick it underneath the cornrow. Okay. Now, you want to take your pre-twisted extension, you're going to take the looped end of the extension, and you're going to stick it into the looped end of your crochet tool. Okay. And then you're going to pull it underneath the cornrow, you're going to open up that looped end, Wait. take the end of your extension. Ooh. Wait. Well, I'm like a pro at this. Pull Wait. it through. What? And like tighten it to the cornrow. 
Look. Open this at the end. She's pro stay master. Too. You are a pro Boom. stay master. Now, once you have done the whole head, this Boom, is what the that. final crochet twist will look like. Just like this, okay? That's beautiful. And you put too much. Right. Ooh. Okay. Now, so any other questions? I do. Doctor, how long does something like this take and how long does it last? Yeah. Okay, so normally a style like this takes two to two and a half hours and it lasts about four weeks. You oh, can wow, expect nice. to invest about $150 to $200. That includes the cost of hair and the technician. Oh, wow. And this particular technique has become really popular because of how quickly you can do it because the hair is pre-braided compared to installing individual braids or twists. Oh, my God, because I hear that takes forever. Well, do it, it hurt? It take a long time. Well, depending on the technician, it shouldn't hurt. And if it does, that means they're not doing it right. Yeah, oh. it don't hurt me, baby. Okay? Oh, no. okay. Good to know. Well, Good to know. Oh, I one other question. Yeah, okay, question. Should you use uh, synthetic or real hair when you're doing this? So crochet hair is actually only sold in synthetic hair, and I like to use synthetic hair because there's a lot of versatility, there's a variety of colors, mm. textures that you can use, as well as it adds a lot of longevity to your style. So the hair doesn't frizz or come undone, but most importantly, the price point is really good. So if you like to switch it up a lot, like Miss Lonnie Love. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just synthetic. stay away from fire, okay? <laughs> now, who else has a question? I have a question. I have a question. What's the best way to clean the scalp when dealing with crochet? Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. okay, that's a great smelling. question. You want to keep it clean. Smelling. So, the best way to cleanse the scalp is you want to get a clean cloth and you want to get some astringent. You want to mist a little bit of the astringent on your cloth and then you just simply want to go through the cornrows on the scalp to remove any dirt or buildup that may accumulate there. Oh, oh wow. Well, what is an astringent? <laughs> <laughs> well, an astringent can be something like witch hazel or sea breeze. Yeah. Got okay, it. sea breeze. All right. Well, that concludes today's class. Thank you, Dr. Carey, for stopping by. It's Teacher Appreciation Day, a time to recognize just how much sacrifice and hard work teachers everywhere put into inspiring yeah. their students. Today, we're showing our appreciation for one especially selfless kindergarten teacher from Dallas, Texas. Take a look. Stephanie Dixon always knew she wanted to be a teacher to impact and help kids who were growing up in the same environment she did. My name is Stephanie Dixon. I am a kindergarten dual language teacher in Dallas. I've been teaching in kindergarten and I've discovered that this is where my passion is. While teaching in a low income area isn't always easy, Stephanie is the student's high energy inspiration, giving her time and her money for the good of her class. My favorite thing is loving on the students, but loving them as if they were my own. I think it's important for students to know that they're going to have love and support at school. That is why I love teaching. Amazing. Please welcome Stephanie Dixon. to be a teacher? Since the third grade. Wow. I had, yes, I had an amazing third grade teacher, Miss Flood. Um, she had so much passion and excitement for teaching that it just carried over into me. Mm -hmm. And um, the Lord just blessed me through all of that, through middle school and high school and college and people saying, don't teach, it's oh, awful, wow. you don't get paid anything, it's not worth it. And the Lord was like, no, stay in it. So mm -hmm. I'm in it. Yeah. Glad awesome. you did. Glad you did, yeah. Definitely in it. Yeah. So, Ms. Dixon, what do you think your students need the most? Love. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. They need love. They need hugs. They need support. They need yeah. encouragement. Um, there's so many homes that are broken these days, mm -hmm. and they need a constant. And so I like being their constant. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. beautiful. Constant. 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 That is, constant. That is very important. Yeah. You mentioned pay being hard. Do you ever have to spend your own money in the classroom? Yes. Um, so. Teaching starts with the environment, and if your room is sterile, the teachers are go I mean, the students are going to feel very sterile. Yeah. So they don't so, give you a budget. It depends on the district, um, okay. and if they do, it's very little. Wow. Okay. But um, 
I like to buy lamps and yes. rugs and You're that cool chairs. teacher. Yes, yeah. you know, they need that. They want to have fun. And yeah, so, they're on the floor. They need yes. a rug. Yes, yes, yeah. and they're five and six, so they eat the table and, you know, they pick at the carpet. So you have to replace that just about every year. Yeah. But when we heard you were spending so much of your own money on supplies, we reached out to a friend of ours and they sent over this message. The ladies of The Real told me and my team at Lakeshore about how you're changing kids' lives through your caring and your selflessness. They also told me that you're spending a lot of your own money on classroom supplies. We want to help, so we're giving you a gift to help you buy more classroom materials. Ladies, let's see it. <laughs> As you know, Lakeshore makes innovative toys, games, and materials that are built by teachers and loved by kids. And they want to help you and your students, so they're giving you $10,000 to spend at Lakeshore. Look at go. Now, Stephanie, that's a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> How is this gift? help your students? It will give them the materials that they need, the games that they need to create and continue to have a fun and engaging classroom. Yes. Wow. And it'll take time off of me not having to make the games. <laughs> oh my God. It'll help you keep some of your money yes. in your pocket that you earn. Yes. yes. So Absolutely. this is, that's a good thing. So. That's a blessing. Thank you Thank so you. much for all that you do, Stephanie. We are proud to welcome a brand new show to the daytime family. Four well-known preachers from across the country will come together to inspire, bring hope, and add a fresh perspective on pop culture and everyday issues. Their new show is going to air on Fox this summer. Excited about it. From the preachers, please welcome Dr. Jamal Bryant, John Gray, Oric Quick, and Dr. E. Dewey Smith. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you for your example. Oh. Because of this diverse panel, <laughs> wow. uh, you made it possible for four African American men to be on this stage. That is so oh, wow. We're excited for, for what you guys are doing. Well, John, you've been a, a preacher for over 20 years, and you're mm -hmm. currently the associate pastor at the Lakewood Church in Houston. Yeah. 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 So are you gonna take your stand up uh -oh. on the road? A little bit. <laughs> well, now I don't have to take it on the road. I get to bring it to TV. Won't he do it? I feel awesome. like, you know, the Bible says laughter does good like medicine. Yeah, so right. if we do this the right way, people could laugh tumors off. They could laugh sickness out of go. their body. I, I think we get an opportunity to do something that's never been done. Awesome. And every time I preach, I always add comedy to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sometimes people think church is medicine, but you can have a little sugar with the medicine. Come on, that's right. Right. That's All right. All right. <laughs> now, Dr. Smith, you've been a preacher for over 25 years at the House of Hope in both Atlanta and Macon, Georgia. Yes. Get up there. That's yes. Very cool. <laughs> has there been a time in your life where your faith has been tested? Oh, my goodness. Keep I, it real. I just came through the worst uh, testing season of my life. Yeah. A few weeks ago, my godmother, my mother, my best friend, and my sister all passed in four weeks. What? Oh, wow. So I had to do three eulogies of my sister and my Jesus. mom wow. within so 21 sorry. days. And then the fifth week, my brother had a stroke and almost passed. So it was, you talk about a test? Yeah, wow. that's a test. It was, yeah. it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. I didn't want to preach. Somebody asked me to pray for him. I said, you want me to pray? <laughs> I, I prayed for my godmother. She didn't make yeah. it. I prayed for my mom. She didn't make yeah. it. I prayed for my best friend. He didn't make it. I prayed for my sister. She didn't make it. Do you really want me to pray? Wow. I, I don't need prayer. That's real. I don't want to yeah. pray. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to preach. Somebody go buy me $100 of Patron and yeah. just let me just yeah. get yeah. rid of this Keep issue. Yeah. But my mom that's came back to me in a dream. and She said, son, you have a purpose. That's as true. long as you have a purpose, you got a reason for living. I appreciate how real you are about that because people don't realize
realize that. Yeah, people think that pastors are, are not human. Mm -hmm. yeah. I right. believe, That's right. I, I tell people all the time, I'm not the Christ. If you hit me, I'm not going to turn over the cheek. Okay. I'm going to take this towel off. <laughs> so we, we, we all are here I like people. that. Yeah, we all yeah, are here so for real. Y'all yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 Well, we well, well, still well, morning. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real about mine. Now, like like you've it. been preaching at Empower Empowerment Temple Church in my hometown, Baltimore, Maryland, yes. <laughs> for 16 years. And the show debuts this summer, and we hear that you already have a dream guest in mind. Who would that be? Uh, my absolute dream guest would be <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh, I, uh, oh wow. well, what? I, no, oh, really. what would you say? No, really, I've seen go. his hair slain in the spirit, but I want to yeah, see yeah, yeah, really yeah, where yeah. he is in terms of. Again, but uh, I really want to know where, where he is in terms of development of urban cities, Come on. where he really stands with Black Lives oh. Matter. Come on. Not just make America great again, but all of America. Yeah. Uh, and I think somebody has to hold yeah. on to yeah. You're fairly new to preaching, having started just, just four years That's ago, right. and you That's founded right. God Seekers Church. Yes. We hear you have an unusual hobby, and it's unusual for a pastor. So please, for tell us, a, for, <laughs> it's unusual for a man. Yes. Okay, yes. Well, tell us about this hobby. Well, I, the hobby that I have is, <laughs> is dedicated <laughs> to my mom who passed away when I was about 15 years old. Okay. okay. And when she passed away, she was a great decorator. She could create anything. Mm -hmm. and you, you remember the MC Hammer pants? Yes. Oh, yes. She used to make me some pants. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. She, not his, not <laughs> MC Hammer pants. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Be clear. Well, I, I created something called Forever Candles. And okay. they're candles that last forever. They, they literally, uh, if you burn them, you can refill it. You can use the same candle oh, over wow. and over really? and over again. Oh, but wow. guess what? What? I made you all some candles. You did? I love candles. Wait, they burned yes, for I, I love candles. Where are they? They got it's your, it oh has your picture. Oh, my God. The bro man candles. made y'all yeah. some candles. Yes. Oh, this is so oh nice my goodness. Yeah, that's Tamar. That's so sweet. That's Tay Tay. Genie. <laughs> and, and guess what? They, they, they made it through oh, the luggage mine. and oh, all oh, that good oh, stuff. Oh my you gosh, made it through TSA. Thank TSA. you. Oh, <laughs> Yes, I want to try to. Wow, this so is amazing. I like getting to know you guys, but I really want to know what is it, what message is it that you want this show to yeah. get across when people watch? I think we all agree that we want this show to be about giving America a daily dose of hope. Come on. So many people are hurting and broken, mm -hmm. and the daytime landscape is filled with people who speak from very, uh, you know, real perspectives. Yeah. I think faith and spirituality is just as valid That's a foundational right. perspective as any other talk show. We are not just preachers. We are husbands. We are fathers. Yeah. We yes. are men. Uh, and so we're going to be talking about pop culture. We're going to talk about Beyonce and Lemonade. How yes. she messed up Lemonade. Yes. Now I can't drink Lemonade without my wife talking about it. Is this something you need to tell me? Because Drinking yes. lemonade. Yes. Where my boo at? She's in the front row. Yeah, look at her in the front row. And so, you know, we we get to talk about what happens in life. And and, and Dr. Bryant said, you know, we get to talk about politics, mm -hmm. but we get to do it from a faith perspective. Yeah. And I think it's important for us to be able to share and say unapologetically, yes, we do believe in something bigger than ourselves, and we lovingly want to offer America a daily dose of hope.